Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to another episode of Deep Web Browsing. Now it's been quite a while since we've done a Deep Web Browsing, enough for me to forget exactly which number we are on, Jesus Christ. But the benefit of today is I feel like it's kind of a new start. I stopped doing this series for a little bit because quite honestly a lot of the stuff that I saw got to me and there was a while on the dank web where a lot of the link lists I went to often led to just straight up illegal stuff. So I felt like, you know, I just... I was kind of turned off from it for a while, but you know what? There's a couple more dank new things these days. It's a whole new world, and ladies and gentlemen, sometimes in this trying quarantine day that we have, we need to have something that'll anchor us down and give us something in this uh, in, the, in this boring time we live. Anyways, long intro aside, no fucking loud ricer car outside. I think it's going to be a good night. Let's sit back, relax, and get into our very first website. Okay, the Harigurama, ground year 1135 AD. All right, we're ready for some fucking mental shit right now. Let's, uh, let's, let's do it, dude. Deity, volunteer, the Messiah show. Oracle, it is forbidden to request work or speech from us. This is paradise. This planet is new earth. All the newspapers are empty. Planet Boomtown. I can see the fentanyl kicking, dude. It's, re we ready, dude. If when 800 million people turn to stone, Link, pay USD 8 billion to pay the ferryman. We are before the fact. There is no undo sequence. Okay, and then you get Dollhouse Berlin. And four days in Berlin. I'm going to just open this real quick. What is this? Pure techno podcast. Okay, Cubex. Eh, fair, fair enough. That's, that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to back away from this. Don't really know what that links to. I mean, it's, it's the techno podcast. But yeah, the Aeon tipping wheel. You can try at least one coin in most. Beggars, busker cups. Also, tipping a few websites. Dolan pay pay PayPal donate button. Is this active? This, this, isn't an, is this an active one? It won't work. It won't work. Wait, will it work? Wait, uh, hi internet, it's 2019. The future. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the past now, <laughs> old man. <laughs> Fix server, auto soft, HTTPS, redirect to HTTP for all normal users. Eh. Stop scaring people away from HTTP. Has anyone seen the normal warning page? Way overdone. Overkill, OTT max out. Isn't wacko, dude, this is like a meth addict discovered how to make websites. Like it's just, the tangents are all over the place. I, I think I'm getting like a fucking like, I'm getting a migraine kick in. Like what the fuck am I reading, dude? Okay, words, all right? I'm just gonna guide you. Words, we gotta learn to use them appropriately. A lot of people are dropping HTTPS. It's full of rules and you can't load call an HTTP site. Okay, cool, let's, let's get past the HTTP like hate boner that he has. We've read your data. What a joke. You like outdoors on Sundays and Johnny Walker. So what? Who doesn't? Yeah, I like me a little Johnny Walker blue label sometimes. You know, it's a little trashy, but you know, I deal with it the best way I can. As for secure images, right click and search. Google has a hundred plus of them. They're everywhere. We just don't get it. Has the boogeyman got you all by the tail? This looks like a con job. And you're the suckers. 300 a year for the rest of your life. For 30 years, that's $9,000 extra. They told us the domain was 20 bucks. Sure did. And said SSL was free. It can be. This man has a... This is a long website. Oh my god. Uh, let's just let's just try to get to a point. Anywhere in the middle. Okay, so... Ah, la, 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 la. Here we go. Let's see what we got over here. Usually they liquid liquidate for like... A business opportunity. Easier to borrow against 10, 15 properties and sell and pay out five properties. You can't write finance in a business if you don't own property. Okay, not making any sense here. Let's go down. Uh, the Harirama fixes the third world today. If everyone more than 95% shares before tax up to 10% income with global charity, 1.4 billion third world fixed, 100 million homeless fixed, refugee settlement fixed, halfway through the funds, Proletariat wages, 30 trillion a year. 10% is 3 trillion a year. Okay, so here we're f we've basically got like a situation to fix the world. All right. Eden Law, all fan animal farming ends now. No more feeding 19 billion chickens. 70% of the grain causing a thousand humans dying an hour. Starving people for eggs on breakfast. Humans eat first. Then they send it in the fungus. Yeast and mushroom is out. They act like an animal. Take out whole system. They are not really vegan. Humans are basically allergic to fungus. Yo, my head is really fucking hurting. <laughs> Grow trade marijuana. 
I could use some fucking marijuana right now, motherfucker. Okay, that's what I could use. Humans have cannabinoid receptors. The Eden herb marijuana is a necessity. It's part of the human DNA. Imagine being so fucking high that your DNA has become fucking... <laughs> God. God damn it. God damn. Exodus, path out of the pit today. Link here in a few minutes. What does this lead to? Path out of the pit. Let me find this. Here's Babylon screening, by the way. Uh, Shangri-La Times, Captain Spaceman, uh, Gaia film. T Dude, this is a whole rabbit hole. I'm going to have to save this website, actually. This website's going to have to be saved. Uh, oh, my God. This is even more fucking awful than the first one. <laughs> Uh, I commit to truth and I commit to ground reality. You might be smaller, however you are on higher ground. You may die from shock. Practice resurrection. If you're going to follow Jesus, at least learn the staring attraction. You can do some performance art. The character dies, the other character gets up. There is a chance of core character identity within the same human form. There is a definitive shift when you do this. It's as close to dying and coming back to life as we know. Know the shift. Know the shift. Know the shift. People come back to life all the time. They wake up in morgues. Yo, no one wakes up in a fucking morgue, bro. I don't know what kind of weird-ass world you live in, but when you die, you dead, bro, okay? There's no press X to respawn in the world, dude. Okay, I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> Alright, but this is actually just as... My god, this is crazy. This is actually mental. Like, it's... I, I don't I don't know where to go. I have no idea where to go. Like it's it, it just keeps devolving. You got you got to understand. Like we come from a planet called Earth, one billion 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 light years away. This is the way in Shangri La. All right, let's let's just look at one last Shangri La. Oh my fucking cuck lord imaginable. It's crazy. Pay the ferryman. This is us telling you. This is a global warning. We have no choice. We reckon these are all signs. This is a massive, sudden, global change. If the next stage kicks in, a hundred million people will turn to stone. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to stop this. Maybe maybe next time I come back to the dank web browser, we'll check some of it out a little bit more. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to, like, go walk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to, like... I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put some I'm gonna have to put some fucking like whiskey in this real quick before I continue because I I'm I'm gonna need that. <laughs> give, me, give me a second. Fuck. All right, so we are at the evil page. All right, now I like pages like this because it really just solidifies the edginess we're about to go into. But as you can see, it's been last updated 2017. So it's not exactly the most uh, evil, it's not the most, uh, you know, recent of pages. Now it's got 356,000 hits, meaning that, um, you know, there's a fair amount of people that visited it. Hell, I might have visited it too at one point, and I just, I just don't remember it. Anyways, though, so it's got a bunch of uh, access. Uh, it looks like, a, looks like a little satanic deal, you know, if, I, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to go to the home page, get a little idea of what we're about to see. Page of the Evil. <laughs> okay, there will be a music section somewhere on the soon. Soon, if I don't give up. Also, check out my cool and stolen memes. Okay, let's open up the memes. Uh, and here we've got some memes. Okay, now if I actually go around, they've got a little uh, little folder option. So you've got the grin, which is just a photo of a grin. All right, pretty cool. Profile pictures. All right, so let's let's look at the let's look at the memes. I've had a bit of a recording bug here and there, but we're having we're having about like seven memes to look at. Now these aren't exactly the freshest of memes, but let's look at it real quick. FPS RPGs. Two and a half hours later, this is the best game ever. This is the, okay, same same reaction. Four hours later, I finished the campaign. I finished making my character, bro. I can't stand people that take like eight hours to make a character, like bro, just get. You got to get to the game at some point. I understand you're getting into the mood, but come on. All right, me, I hit an animal and my car is totaled. Am I covered? Yes, what did you hit? Me, a fish. Yo, I feel so bad for that dude, actually, with a car tipped over in the water like that. Ugh, that hurts to look at, but, um, you know, interesting meme. Kind of kind of hurt me in the feels. Oh, ooh, this hurt. Okay, let's look at it. Lu okay, so this is, like, common translations of, like, you know, internet lingo. So, lol is Lucifer or Lord. YOLO is youth obeying Lucifer's orders. Swag, Satan's wishes are granted. Raffle, rise, our father Lucifer. You know, the the amount my 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 body just like suffered a cringe coma for a second. BRB, bills above, rules below. What the fuck? Worship the fallen. <laughs> All right, dude. Okay, let's uh, let's 
let's take the Evanescence disc out of the fucking eight track and uh, and get back into the uh, get back into the mood. Uh, here's another one, a little anime. Don't you dare call me lazy. Just so you know, I'm busy turning oxygen into carbon. Ha! Mm. That's hilarious, man. I'm about to fucking cum my pants right now with laughter. Jesus or sin? Who will you serve? Heaven or hell? Talos hates <laughs> Blessings of Akatosh upon ye, friend. All right, I love these. I can see most of the love here for Skyrim straight up. Uh... It's the inside that matters, not the outside. Give me an example. Refrigerator. Makes sense. Yo, these are like, these aren't dad jokes. These are fucking dead grand, grand, granddad jokes at this point. Let me be honest. What will you do if you woke up with one trillion dollars tomorrow? Nothing. You don't have to be ashamed of being poor in Switzerland. All right, bring, bring, in, bring in poor shaming country. Jesus Christ. You know, it's kind of like the same question. Like, what will I do if I wake up with a trillion dollars tomorrow? I don't know. I mean... I mean, go, 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 on, go, on, go on a fun binge for a little while. I mean, I got a trillion dollars. I'm literally the richest person in the world. I mean, it, it's on the same par as asking me questions like, would you slap your cousin for like 10, for like a trillion dollars? Bro, I'd fucking slap the shit out. I'd send him straight to the other galaxy for a trillion dollars. Bro, I'd do it for 10 grand at this point. Get out of here. All right, let's see what the fuck else is on this website. What is Osiris Tomb? Okay, I'm gonna open that shit up and then, ah, dude, pedo X, ah, oh, get out of here. It's, it's fucking wrong. Here's like Osiris's tomb. Important, after a long recovery, which I'm still in, I am back. I, Osiris, am back, and I'm here to build this up and more determined than ever to keep this place uh, free and to ourselves. That being said, note the following. Oh. Yep, pedos ain't wanted. Bigotry and harassment will be about the swift and hard action. <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm Osiris, and this is my tomb. Here, all is permitted except child abuse material. This site contains every... Oh, so I guess there are a network of people that... Yeah, I agree with it. Fuck, 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 it. fuck kitty diddlers, dude. Posting that material will be an auto ban. Don't troll too hard. No harassing each other. Have fun. It's kind of like a safe space, but they're not fully committing to it. I understand. Here, let's go to, like, the link list real quick. Oh, I gotta register? Yo, fuck that. I ain't registering in all Osiris tomb. Get out of here. Oh, this is another page. What? The darkness is everywhere. <laughs> so edgy. Holy shit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all fine and dandy. But uh, that was the uh, that was that was our first website, the evil page. Okay, F fair start to the week, I'd say. All right, the the darkness is everywhere. All right, let's uh, let's let's just let's just leave this. Let's leave the pit of Satanism and go somewhere that's. That's a little more, that's a little more, uh, relaxed, I'd say. So this is a clear web website that I've been linked to, like, Finanza Wiesen. Okay, I think this is, uh, I think this might be, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that this is, like, is it, is this, is this German or is this, like, Nor I don't know, Norwegian or something? I'm not sure about this. But David Ick is right about the reptiles. Oh, shit. If you don't know the name David Ick, all right, David Ick is the man that's basically, like, spread the fact of, of, the, of the reptile conspiracy. You know, like, have you seen Queen Elizabeth? She blinked one time, and it looked like she was a reptile shapeshifter. Now, I believe in reptilians. After all, I am one. <clears throat> you know, Agartha, Agartha pride, you know, Agartha power, you know, just hollow earth for life, boys. I'm just telling you. You ain't, you ain't know how to live unless you live right in the center of the fucking planet. That's what I'm saying, dude. But David Ick was right about the reptiles. Human reptiles is a fact. Fact. 100% fact. You normally, people have like a source to it. No, nope, don't need a source. I don't need to prove anything, you, you troglodyte. It's a fact. A fact. Human reptiles exist. All right? Just like the flat earth exists. All right? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> the global elite's involvement in pedophilia and black magic is a fact. That... Okay, maybe in the first one, I I, I kind of go with there, especially with the whole Epstein shit. But the black magic, kind kind of kind of getting into the kind of getting into the Hogwarts territory a little bit, bro. You're losing me. The Catholic Church's involvement in black magic is a fact. Yep, throw them Catholics under a bus right there. Bam, bam, get out of here. <laughs> I mean, that's where we're going on this website. The power of this. Oh no, <laughs> no one saved. <laughs> Oh my god. I saw a woman in Brazil go through a transformation. She developed a snout and a this it's a parody. She developed a snout and a zigzag spine and she changed from human to reptile over a period of a couple minutes. I've seen that reptile transformation several times since. It's a fact. David Ick is right. Are you sure that's not the crack rocks you've been buying from your local dealer kicking into effect? 
could be that. <laughs> and I spent 10,000 hours over the last 11 years going into the hell world using the trance state. Ah, meditation enter hell. Okay, getting a little doom eternal here. I like it. Consider myself an expert on those worlds. Six seconds after I close my eyes, I can see those worlds. It's like watching a TV screen. Humans have a mirror world double. Ah, throwing Silent Hill, great. Which is their spiritual identity. That double is in hell or in the celestial worlds where they are still alive. You don't go to heaven or hell after you die. Your mirror self double is already there right now in one or more of the myriad of possible dimensions. I, dude, I just want Christine's dimensional merge to be a thing. This is a fact. Trust me on that one. I've seen it every day for several hours a day over a period of 4,000 days. I've seen thousands of the global elite in the hell world's politicians, bankers, religious people, cardinals, bishops, famous musicians, and actors. And I've also seen ordinary people there, too. Some I know personally, and others I see in hell that I don't know. They are just crowds of souls that are in hell while still alive, wandering about here on Earth, pretending to be normal. Yeah, it seems like it seems like Kojima's inspiration for Death Stranding a little bit. I like it, and I like to add something that he or may or, that he may or may not know, which I know, because I can see the reptilian humans when walking down the street. They give off a signal that's easy to spot and a rotting swamp smell. It's called the red light district, bro. I'm just okay. <laughs> I can't go into it here in detail. It's the devil sweat. <laughs> He can't. There are billions of reptile humans on Earth. Every scammer, predator, sexual deviant, violent people, black, black magicians, power trippers, all pe belong to the same ghastly clan. Earth is a dimension of the reptiles and our political, financial, religious power structures are controlled by them. Armageddon is a fight to break that control and bring the system down. To liberate people from a secret, hidden nastiness that they could well do without. Okay. Um, that was a 2011 discovery. I hope, I hope, I hope in 2020, nearly a decade later, the crack rocks fucking finally wore off. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to be real with you. Do I think reptiles exist? No. Not, not, not really. No. Um, rep, reptilians, to me, are kind of like the biggest, biggest joke, you know, ever. Like, it, okay, here's the thing, okay? Like, if, if reptilians exist, I will gladly be the first person in the world to admit I was wrong. Okay, I'm just going to tell you. But first, give me an actual proper view of a reptilian, okay? In fact, show me two reptilians getting it on. If you can prove that to me without a shadow of a doubt, then I will every day, every video I make, I will always talk about reptilians being real. And I will be the one person to push that agenda as much as David Icke. If you can show me two reptilians in real life, okay, shape-shifting in the hottest bang session imaginable, I, I will do that. You have my word. There you go. <laughs> I'll even I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll even chop off my left nut just for it. And I know I sacrifice that shit a lot, but I'd be willing to do in fact I'd do both nuts if you prove me right. I'm putting it all on the line. <laughs> that being said though, let's back out and go to another site. Potatoes, onion, eggs, and pork. What the f rustic cyberpunk. Coffee, coats, cabins. I think we came across some dudes like blog. What is this? So it's, uh, it's rustic cyberpunk is what I'm getting. It's about coffee, it's about coding, and it's about cabins. So here's the first post right now, potatoes, onions, eggs, and pork. All right, sustenance seems to be one of the most frequent topics to come up when discussing living off grid. A stable source of food is only common sense, but I'd like to avoid, yo, this is topical as shit. We're about to enter the end times at this point, holy crap. But I'd like to avoid going to the store as much as I can. I, I do the same thing where I'm planning to build the cabin. There aren't that many grocery stores in the first place. There also seems to be fewer and fewer stores selling fresh produce in rural areas in general. Even in New... Yeah, yes, yes, in New York, I expect that. Uh, this is a problem on its own, in addition to the dwindling hardware and convenience stores. While my own dietary needs are modest, I'm dangerous to ignore proper nutrition. It's dangerous to... Yeah, of course it is. Especially when I'm living away from most conveniences. Is that really the case in New York? Like, I figure that, like, I know that New York City, obviously, you know, hub of the world. But isn't, like, upstate New York pretty lively with the rural shit? Like, I, I'm not a New York resident, so I wouldn't know. But I, I, I don't, I don't know if I completely believe that, but okay. I used to joke that potatoes are better than bitcoins. They work in any century as a medium of exchange. They inherently show, yeah, have you been to fucking Slavic countries, dude? Potatoes are, like... Potatoes are like their wet dreams out there, dude. 
Best of all, potatoes are hacker proof and are offline by default. It's quite possible to survive on just potatoes for months. Yeah, it's, it's not good for your long term health, I'm pretty damn sure, if you just live off potatoes, though, is it? But this is like some dude's blog that's literally about uh, just surviving. Okay, that, 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 that's, actually, that's actually pretty cool. So it's like, it's, it's a mix of technology and like uh, survivalism, which, uh, which you don't really see that often anyways. You know, so it's kind of like two ends of the spectrum. Like there's some people who are super into technology and some people who just like fucking absolutely like absolve it and like want to live off the land. It's always refreshing to see somebody who makes something that combines both pretty effectively. Here for the holidays. Okay, home for the... I made it back to my apartment just in time for Thanksgiving, of course. I, I always like this, dude. It's like I'm reading some guy's journal and shit. It's kind of cool. The holidays will be spent with my roommates and neighbors, so it's a pretty standard affair. I look forward to my neighbor's delicious pies. Ooh. I did manage to drop by the office and set up a webcam this time. Wait, what? He's got a little webcam action? Ooh, shit. Uh, he uploaded the script, takes snapshots to GitHub. Uh, he has a GitHub? Okay, I gotta check that out real quick. What is this, camera? Oh, dude, what? What? Oh, it's offline because there's no one in the office to fix it due to COVID-19. Shit. Shit, dude. You had a little webcam action going on, so you actually have, like, a little webcam to watch. The last time it was updated, 18th March, which means, like, it's been, yeah, it's been nearly, like, yeah, it's been, like, a, it's been over just, it's almost two weeks since it's been gone. Holy crap. 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, this is, this is crazy. This is like a little camera action. I like it, dude. I like it. Okay, DIY laser cutter. Okay, let me see the laser cutter. He's been collecting parts that can handle CNC functions and include XYZ axis movement with an action head capable of handling XY and a platform to raise and lower the work materials in the Z axis. It's unlikely that I'll be able to run to the shops to get a part for something. Yeah, you're not going to be able to repair your computer parts. But he's building a fucking laser cutter. Holy crap. <laughs> this is actually super cool. Like, that, that's, that's actually really impressive. I want to see this project. This guy, I think, might be my QSIM at home these days. This is crazy good. I toyed with uploading a time lapse I recorded in 2016. Let me see this time lapse. Ah, oh, it fails to load. Shit. Farming a la cyberpunk. Ah, oh, I like it. Nature is beautiful. That's only true when looking at it from the safety of a window or briefly exposed to flesh in relatively clean areas. When you get up close, especially to grow things, there are all manners of critics, critters that can wreak havoc on your immune system. I, I bet, man. I bet indeed. And here he's linked a photo to like Arduino-based urban farming. I've actually seen this video. It's like this, uh, it's like this Kenyan dude. Oh, this video is actually pretty dope. I'm going to show you guys it real quick. Uh, I'm not going to like go into it. But it's this Kenyan guy that's basically made like this like ecosystem from like it's like this complete like computer based ecosystem where he's got like hydroponics with like fish that he's feeding so it's like again it's like it's like a water cycle it's a company called kajani grows you guys gotta watch this dude dude is like super positive it's like a kenyan guy that's found like the perfect way to sort of handle this kind of crap but anyways we'll go down over here he's talking about arduino based farming which you don't know what an arduino is it's like a little uh processor that you can get it's a it's a smaller like it's, it's kind of like a micro system in a way, just to, just to describe it real quick, like quick, almost like a Raspberry Pi, you know, like a little, a little mini ARM based computer as far as, uh, as far as uh, anyone's concerned. Interestingly enough, this has been active since 2017. The last post, unfortunately, uh, actually no, the last post right here is March 11, 2020. So it's actually a pretty active forum post. So yeah, if you, if you ever want to look at some dude's rustic cyberpunk adventure, here's, here's a block for you. God damn. I always love coming across these people's blogs on the deep web. Like, it's always really cute. But anyways, that being said, let's back out and go somewhere else. Okay, boys and girls, we're here at Jaw. Now, I believe I've actually seen this thing before, but I want, even if I didn't or I had, I just want to, like, show you a couple things. This website is optimized for viewing with 800 to 600 screen resolution. You know what that's from? Some of you, some of you aren't even fucking born when that screen resolution was common, was it? See, that was the old days of CRTs when Muda was a much younger individual. Now that I'm an old fucking man, this, uh, this brings back a lot of memories. But you might be wondering, oh, it's just an old ass website. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It was updated 25th January, 2020. Okay, so it ain't fucking old, boys and girls. It's alongside us. Now, this is the long awaited church of all things on planet Earth. The real jaw is not a Rastafarian. Well, that's good to know. Congratulations. You just landed on the most groundbreaking and informative site on the net. 
I've heard that, I've heard that claim a million times. As the lightning shineth from the east, even unto the west, Jah is the source of all information that every single living soul on this planet needs in order to survive into the new millennium. Yo, we're already 20 years in, brother, okay? Like, you, 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 should, you should have given this shit up to us before. The site covers everything, the proof of our true and now hidden identity. Who and what we really are. All right, I'm gonna figure this shit out wholeheartedly. So they have ancient prophecies, uh, Nostra fucking Domus, all right, and give details about the times we're living in now and what is going to happen in the near future. Oh yes, yes, let me know in the near future, please. Now they have a bunch of different sub pages for you to go down into. So they've got the Bible, the, the Quran, the Armageddon survival kit. Yes, I need this right now. Uh, they've got some they've got some movies, all right? So, so I guess they talk about Star Wars and Close Encounters, bro. Disney don't even give a fuck about Star Wars. I mean, I highly doubt you will in that comparison. His Rock of Defense, Gibraltar, UFOs. Oh, they do exist? Please show me. Please show me. Heraldry, Politics, Celtic, Environmental, and Spiritual and Social. Okay, let's go to the Prophecy page. So we've got Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, Sign of the End Times, uh, Christ Spaceship, the new... G oh, the Arcs, the Spaceship. Oh, man, the Christ Spaceship? That's going to be awesome. Is it, is it a giant, like, T-Pose through the fucking... Through the cosmos? Let's see it. World War Three. No, I'm not into some depressing shit. I want to go to the spaceship, okay? Although the Noah's Ark story belongs on the Old Covenant, frequent references to it as a very important article of faith occurs in the New Covenant and also in the Quran. In fact, Christ made a life or death prophecy that at a time we would return to Earth, conditions and altitudes on the Earth would be like they were in the days of Noah. All right. Uh, but as the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. As for in the days, okay, so these are just Bible quotes outright and outright there. The prophetical statement has never been fully understood or appreciated by anybody since it was first made. Christ also said, I am not from this world. Yeah, you're from the, from the heavens there, buddy. Many people can see that now, in the latter half of the 20th century, the conditions are again plainly in evidence, especially sodomy, oh, lewdness, and scoffing. Oh, boys, we're getting... We're getting into that phase. Okay, so let's, uh, by the way, none of, none of the views of these websites actually ever recommend me. I'm sorry, my camera just died right there. It was uh, trying trying to rake in all the, all, the, all the Puritan stuff that was on this website. But, however, everyone has missed a crucially important point of this eloquent stuff. Uh, and what is it? That is possibly because they have not joined into the other related warning prophecies given by Jesus, which must be done. Otherwise, it is impossible to understand the full meaning and importance of the first statement. So we talked about false Christ, false teachers, uh, which we did talk about in our, in, in, our, in our recent video, by the way. But I'm not going to just dive right into it. So this is about like Noah's Ark and shit. Very few people who have stayed spiritually awake have not been deceived by organized religions into taking the quick and easy path. Star Wars fact, not fiction. <laughs> not believing Star Wars fact, not fiction. Search for the scriptures for the birthmarks of the real Christ. And from those birthmarks, they tell where the body he would use would be born. In what year, which tribe, and what he would do, and where he would go. Everyone else will burn just as Jesus said. But, like, and t but I'm like, where's the spaceship come from? Like, I'm trying to figure that one out. Where is the spaceship? I mean, I guess he's trying to say that, like, Noah's Ark or, like, Jesus will come on, like, a spaceship over to us, which would be kind of cool. That's actually something I've really found interesting with, like, religion in general. Like, I always feel like a lot of these, when we think of it sort of, like, very imperial, when we think of it load, like old world goggles, and we think of all this technology as old world, imagine if, like, back in the days of Jesus and shit like that, imagine if, like, even way beyond that, like, antiquity and stuff, that we were, like, a really advanced species of human beings and we all, like, passed away by a cataclysmic event. I'm one of those people that kind of wishes that that was a reality. Like, we weren't the first human species. We were, like, one of many. That, like, every time, like, human beings reach to, like, this peak year 3000 spacefaring apex race, that they just, like, eventually crumbled on their own behalf. Imagine the weirdest shit if, like, out of nowhere, human beings land in, like, 2100, and it's just, like, they, they, they act like they came back to Earth. And we're just like, we've never seen you before. And that that would be like a mind-blowing discovery, dude. Honestly, I, that's why I'm like a huge sci-fi nut. If that ever happened, bro, I wish, I wish I could witness that in any capacity, dude. Like, even if it's some altered carbon, I'm not really me, but it's like my, my like brain disc is in, you know what I mean? But anyways, that's a whole different tangent. Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Okay, that's, 
That is, uh, and two witnesses. All right, so sun, moon, stars, or heavens. Uh, four horsemen of the apocalypse. I think we mostly know this story. The Armageddon survival kit is what I want to know. Now, you can immediately discover and begin learning the simple plan how to guarantee your freedom, safety, and immortality. Fuck. Immortality. There's no fucking way you can sell that shit. If you, you won't survive these end times without this. Oh, yeah? Will I? Unique and authoritative information library, straightforward, daily tuition comes complete on one convenient CD. Send us 50 dolans outside of Europe. Ah, I have 50 dolans for the fucking end times plan, right? For your personal pocket-sized survival plan on CD inside Europe, 50 euros. That's a fucking bullshit art. Like, isn't the change? You know the prices are different. Fuck you. <laughs> Please specify whether for PC or Mac. Well, I think any troglodyte buying this. I'm not even going to go there. I'm not I'm not going to do low-hanging fruit. This is a one-time payment with no hidden extras. Due to having to avoid the mark of the beast, we now only accept cash. Oh, 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 so the credit card protections that I have? Oh, you don't want to play with that. You just want straight cash. Eat my cock. Jaw, Jaw Productions, The Way Home, Gibraltar via London. Please use sturdy, secure envelopes, but not padded envelopes as they get stopped by customs. Yeah, we wouldn't want your $50 to get fucking stopped by customs, right? Why not a wire transfer? Why not any of that? Oh, it's because they come with, you know, buyer protection and shit like that. Cool. Cool. I, I, I accept it. Oh, so it's also available as a book? Oh my god, can I buy the book somewhere? Oh, they have it, they have it, they have it, they have it, they have it. A PDF 101 Face the Fire the Survival Plan. Okay, so the fi Why were you good? Were they really just gonna- Wait! Wait, were you really going to put a fucking PDF file on a goddamn CD and charge me $50? Bro, the dick, you may now dine consume the cock. 50 bucks for a PDF on a CD? Get out of here. That's such a waste. Oh my, have these people not heard of file servers? <laughs> no. All right, uh, most people wonder the purpose of life. Is there a mission or destiny for each of us? Is there? Is there? I don't know. I don't, is there? It's a 1986 copyright, dude. This shit is outdated as fuck. I'm sorry. It's outdated as hell. We can't use this as a survival plan. Be not afraid. We are not hostile, but not afraid. We are not hostile. We mean you no harm, said the ET, and invited the human being on board the spacecraft. Oh, okay. The extraterrestrial, who said that the human being could call him Zeno, foreigner, described his utopian society to the human being. As you know it, we have no sickness, no crimes, and no police force, and no schools. What the f- <laughs> What are you, fucking amoebas? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no, no, I don't believe that shit at all. There's gotta be a space gang doing space- There has to be a space Pablo Escobar, bro. Get out of here. I don't believe aliens have no crimes. Eat a cock, man. Because of our long life expectancy, we have a very- Strict birth control. Yep. No coochie rubbing unless allowed. Contraception. What? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Let, let, let's back out. I don't want to get into the whole contraception. We have no money. We live as one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so it's the Borg is what I'm getting, right? The human being asked what the purpose of the visit was. The ET replied, observation only. I don't think it meant for them to observe us. I think it was for me to observe them. All right, so it's just like a spiritual experience of like an ET and their visit. Um, that's cool. I mean, they're really they're really hamming up the fact that Christ is definitely an alamal, which would be freaking cool if Jesus was actually an alien, because uh, I I would you know at that point you know you got to understand when Christ comes back, every country is going to be hoping that like oh man I hope he's I hope I hope he comes to our country like it'll be like a big giant like dick swinging contest for all of them I hope he's an alien so it's like a 200 IQ move and nobody can claim it as their own dude that'd be crazy because then we get first contact and 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 we prove you know like you know Christ is there and all that would be that would be the best but anyways I'm gonna back out of this because I don't want to turn no comment section into like this religious turf battle and it, it ain't my forte and we're just gonna go somewhere else. Hell, ladies and gentlemen, that was, a, that was a fun endeavor, I must say. Now, I went back to the Dank Web Browsing series, and I gotta say, some of the websites have been kind of relaxed. You know, we got to see someone's blog, The Rustic Cyberpunk. We got to see uh, The Lord in all shapes and forms. We got to see The Evil Page, which was really, really old memes, by the way. But I think my personal favorite today 
my personal favorite of all of them, has been the actual mindfuck page that I've seen. I can't really process that all the way through. My head is still hurting despite, uh, despite walking away from that. I'm just going to put it out there. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, it, you know, actually my head really does fucking hurt from that. I, I need to get some rest. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dank Web Browsing, Deep Web Browsing, Dark Web Browsing, whatever the hell you want to call it. This is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.